this is uh, number 62, chapter 8. Okay. And what it says, you have a lithium 2 plus ion. It has a 2s orbital. We want to find R at the node. So we want to find R at the node. There's all these questions will follow the same procedure. In this case, someone here is asking earlier, why would we need the function? Here's a, a very here's an example you will use that you need the function. Okay. So what you do in this kind of problem, when you want to find r at the node, well, the key part, what's psi equal to at a node? Zero. It's zero. That's the key thing you need to remember. Okay. So I won't give you that. That you need to remember. And what you do is you go, well, what's What's psi? I'll set it equal to zero, and there we go. Psi of 2s. So that's equal to r of 2s times y. And y doesn't list the n values, just the l values, so y of s. I'm just going to now copy down from table 8.1. Uh, 8 Pure copying at this moment. R of 2s is 1 over 2 square root of 2 times z over a naught to the 3 halves times 2 minus sigma e to the minus sigma over 2. I just wrote down R. I'm going to put a multiplication sign. And now I'm going to write the y part, an s. Again, I'm copying straight from the table. The s part is this, 1 over 4 pi raised to the 1 half. Okay, so the first bracket term is the r, the radial part of the weight function, copied down exactly as I saw it. The second part is the y part. Now what do I do with that? Set it equal to zero. Not phi, but zero. Okay? Now let's go on scratch paper just to make sure we're all okay with this concept. If you have, if you saw an algebra function that said 7x equals zero, is it okay that the 7 I just cancel out? I'll go with that. Okay, we're going to do a lot of that up here now. Anything that's a constant can be canceled. That's just a number. Is that okay? This whole term is gone. This, just a number, z, that's the atomic number, a naught is the Bohr constant, the Bohr radius constant. This is just a number, gone. Just like 7x equals 0 and I cancel out the 7. Anything that I find that's a constant, get rid of it. Okay, let's skip ahead a little bit. This one, just a number. So far okay? Okay, so now uh, 2 minus uh, the sigma. Sigma has inside of it r, so I can't cancel this because r is in sigma. In fact, if you use your table 8.1, I'll write it right here. Sigma equals 2zr over n a naught. So I can't cancel that 2 minus sigma. It's got the r term. And I'm trying to find R at the node. So I'm trying to find R at the node. What's that? What is R? Like what are we trying to find? R is the radius from zero. Or the distance from the origin. Physically, that's what R means. And on your orbitals, it's the center of the orbital drawing is the origin. And everything going, the distance going out from that is R. Okay? So, sigma inside that's R. So, this term's not going anywhere. Now, here comes the crazy talk. This term right here. 
can e to the minus x ever equal 0? Okay. Relying on you math geniuses. It can at infinity, I guess, if you want, but in practical circumstances, no. If it's never 0, it's meaningless to me. So I'll write that down on the side. e to the minus x never equals 0. If it doesn't equal 0, it's meaningless in my equation. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is kind of, for most students, the weirdest part. Is e a constant too? e is a constant. It's the natural log e, 2.71828, blah, blah, blah. That E. It's back to haunt you. Yeah. So that's what this E is. So now, look what's left. 2 minus sigma equals 0. Great. I think I can solve this one. Sigma equals 2. And now I'm going to plug in for sigma. It's right here on this side over here. I copied it straight from the table. 2ZR over N. A naught equals 2. Okay, so that's sigma. Let's write that down just in case. That's sigma. 2 is cancel. Good. What is Z? Z is 3 because it's lithium, and the atomic number of lithium is 3. It's the third element. If you didn't know, you just look on the periodic table. I'll write it right here. Z equals 3. What's N? N is uh, 2 S. Yeah, N is going to be 2 because it's 2 S. A naught, I'll just leave as A naught. R is what we're solving for. So, uh, let me rewrite this. Z, 3R over N, N was 2, right? Uh -huh. Times A naught equals 1. Oh, now. now it's not that scary. Now it's doable. R equals 2 A naught over 3. Done. So here's what we did. Uh, we got the 2s orbital. We wanted to find it. What is r at the node? Physically, let me erase this for a second. Let's just draw the 2s. What does it look like? A sphere. S is a sphere. Does it have a node? Yes. That's good, because that's what we we're solving for. It has one node. It's a concentric sphere inside the sphere. We were looking for this value right here, R. That's what we just found. The distance from the center to the node. And that, apparently, if I didn't make any math mistakes, is 2 A naught over 3. A naught, you don't have, as far as I'm concerned, you don't have to plug in for unless the exercise asks you to do so. So. You just read the problem and see if it asks you to express it in terms of a naught or as a numerical value. And there we go, there's R. If there was more than one node, I would have got more than one answer. Kind of makes sense? They all follow the same procedure, and you'll see, I'd say 75% or more of this chunk of it will cancel out. Because almost all of this is constant. 